here. Today is day four from the book, A Life of Miracles. Today's thought is titled, A Meaningless Thought. So this is going to be a good one. I like all of these, but they really start provoking the idea of thinking through what is it that's controlling your life. So if you haven't picked up a copy of the book, I'll make sure and put the link in the comments. But again, it is my book, A Life of Miracles, Beginning Your 60-Day Journey. Here we go, day four. I remember attending the Millionaire Mind Intensive Weekend in Dallas with a friend years ago. The speaker stood up and said that we shouldn't believe a thing that was said at the conference. He said that we shouldn't believe a thought that we had if we wanted to achieve true enlightenment. The crowd laughed nervously, wondering if he was serious or joking. I remember thinking to myself about the number of times that my thoughts had deceived me. I could think back over the years, going back to even junior high school, where my thoughts were what was getting the best of me. It wasn't other people coming after me or bullying me or even praising me. It was the thoughts in my own head that consumed me. If you're like me, there are times that a thought will all of a sudden float across your mind and begin to pull you away from your purpose. Whether it's good or bad is irrelevant. The thoughts that float through us are just like objects around us. They don't have any meaning on their own. They don't make us a better or a worse person. They don't inspire us or depress us on their own. They don't have any power whatsoever on their own. The thoughts that we think only have power in conjunction with the meaning that we assign to them and the power that we give them over us. It isn't the thought that has meaning. It is the assignment of meaning, of value, of power that makes the thought a thing. On its own, a thought is not a thing. Practice seeing your thoughts as thoughts devoid of meaning. When a thought comes across your mind today, assign no meaning to it. Look at it and think, that thought has no meaning to me. Whether it's a good thought or a bad thought or just a thought, realize that it has no meaning on its own. You are the creator of meaning for any thought that crosses your mind. The thoughts are just there to tempt you to assign meaning. Today is your day to resist. Joy comes from knowing that you don't have to assign meaning to any thought. Joy comes from realizing that the thoughts themselves don't mean anything. My challenge to you today is to go through the day simply allowing thoughts to exist without trying to make them mean anything. Your journaling activity, if you're doing the journaling, is what thoughts have you given meaning to that should have been left alone in your life? As you go through this, I would just encourage you, make sure that you're keeping track of what's running through your head. If you follow this 60-day journey, what you'll experience is you start learning more and more of how you find peace in your life. This isn't about you know, some miraculous turn in your life, but miracles are little decisions that we make that put us in a better place than what we would have been before. So I'm Jody Holland. Thank you very much. Again, I'll put in the comments how to get the book, A Life of Miracles, Beginning Your 60-Day Journey. I'll see you guys tomorrow.